Hey guys, it's Jen from Mind Create Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these Hunter car decals. As you know, if you are a subscriber of my channel, you know that my car decals are my number one seller and I'm making a killing at these. As you can see, I have a huge pile right here of ones that I finished that I'm going to be taking to the stores that I'm selling in. They are my number one sellers. I sell out of these so quickly and I'm going to teach you guys from start to finish how to create them like these. I have these Hunter decals, which are going to be going Going into the store but I'm going to show you from start to finish how to create how to package and then give you ideas of how to sell these but I'm going to show you everything from the packaging to the car decal instructions on where to get them and how to create this so you don't want to miss it out if you have a Cricut machine and you have time and you love crafting make your hobby into a crafting business that's what I did I started small and I expanded and I'm doing really really well and I want to help you guys too so stay tuned and learn how to create these and make some money crafting. Alright, so I'm starting in Design Space and I'm going to show you just the two that I'm going to be creating today. So I'm going to go into my Upload folder and I'm going to be using this one and this one. So I'm going to select both of these and add to Canvas. And there's really not much that I'm going to do with this, so this is going to be a really quick tutorial. I'm just going to take the double arrows down here and shrink it just a little bit so we can see it better and move these guys over. So I figured these would be really good for hunting, obviously, for um, men with that are like hunting, they can put it on their cars. So I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. Um, I'm thinking my normal decals, I do around five by five, but I think I'm going to do maybe a six this time. So I'm going to select this first one, go up here to the width, and then just type in six. And instead of unlocking it and change it to be six by six, I'm going to let Cricut tell me what size it should be at. So I'm going to push the tab button and I went to 4.437. So if I did six by six, it's going to skew it a little bit and not make it look so good. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to change this to be six. And that just does not look right. That's why I say I keep it locked and let Cricut tell me what size. So I'm going to hit the back button here and it's just going to change it back for me. So this one's going to be the same. I'm going to I'm not going to unlock it. I'm going to change the width here to six. So that was a lot bigger. Um, I might actually drag this out a little bit. Like I said, my decals are my number one seller at my stores that I sell at. So I do a lot of uh, car decal videos. So if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And then you can also go back and check out my other videos that I've done on car decals. Um, one of them has over 50,000 views already, which is just mind boggling to me. So I appreciate everybody for commenting and liking and sharing that video. I'm going to do a lot more like this. Like I said, my decals are my number one seller. So I'm going to continue to keep making new ones and I'm going to continue to keep making um, the video so you guys can see how I make it. So I'm going to make this just one actually a little bit smaller, maybe a 6.5 will change it up here kind of see how that looks but that was just a little small and then this one is almost six by six so for this the only thing that I have to do with this particular one is attach it because you can see on the side here all these pieces are detached and when you go to cut it it's going to cut everything out separately so you're not going to have it look like the way it looks I don't want to have to do any extra work on this so I'm going to go ahead and push the weld button and the reason I'm doing the weld instead of the attach is because these little tiny pieces there, whoops, it went away. These little tiny pieces that are here, if they are not connected, Cricut is going to cut that and you're going to see that. And when you're weeding it, you're going to have a really hard time um, weeding that out because there's going to be little slits in it. So this one is already done. And this one was already finished for me, so I don't have to do anything else with this. You can change the color of these two if you want. You just go to the color box and you can change it to whatever color that you want. Um, I'm just actually going to stick with black and I might do um, this one maybe even a brown color. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. So there's nothing else I have to do here. I'm just going to click make it and I'm going to show you the two mats that are going to be on the side here and it's going to show you what it's going to look like. So it's going to give you a little preview. So that's what it's going to look like. You can kind of get a quick view on how big these are going to be. So obviously yours doesn't, yours doesn't have to be a six by six or whatever mine is. You can do whatever size you like. So I'm going to go ahead and push continue and then I'll show you which setting I like to use. 
And when you're choosing your setting, you have to think about how thick your vinyl is. I've used several different kind of kinds of vinyl. My main one is the Oracle 650 one. I like using permanent vinyl. It um, helps from the sun rays and it also doesn't peel up. So I always use 650 one, but I also use wall cuts adhesive vinyl from heat transfer warehouse that's a new vinyl that they just came out with it's a little bit thinner than regular 651 the oracle um i like that a little bit better so i normally either use the stencil vinyl here or the premium vinyl or even if it's little tiny intricate cuts i use the washi sheet so for this one i'm just going to be using the uh, premium vinyl and i'm gonna put uh, the black on one of my mats then I'm going to do another one with this brown, but this is going to be really easy weed. Um, there are a few parts in here that are going to be a little bit difficult to weed out, but um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I'm going to weed it out, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like and how to package it and get ready to sell. All right, guys, so I weeded this out. Here is my brown one. It was very, very simple to weed this out. Very nice decal detail on this. So what I'm going to do actually is take my scissors and just cut a little bit off the edge. And then I'll show you later on how I'm gonna make this look a little bit nicer. Oops, I got a piece stuck right here. Here we go. So I'm just gonna take my scissors, cut the edge again, just so I'm not wasting so much transfer tape. And then I'll go back in later and um, cut some more off. So what I'm gonna do next is actually, I'm gonna show you a trick that I like to use. I do card decals all the time, and they are my number one seller. So I'm gonna show you this little trick. You can do it, you don't have to do it. So here is my transfer tape. It is a really huge roll of transfer tape. I will leave all of my supplies in the description below, but I'm gonna show you really quick what I do. So I'm taking my transfer tape, and I lay it out. I have it upside down. This is the sticky side. So you can do this or you don't have to do this, but this really helps me out that I'm not getting like little slits in it, little lines, or it's just gonna lay nice and flat. So I'm gonna take my decal and I'm gonna lay it upside down, just like this. And then I'm gonna take my next one and do the same thing. And just give myself a little bit of room in between each one that I can take my scissors and cut it. Now I'm just gonna take this end part and cut this off. And now I can go in and cut this. Just rough cut it is all I'm doing right now because I'm gonna take my paper cutter and actually go in and cut it nice and straight. So that's why I said just rough cut it in the beginning. So here it is just like this. Next part I'm gonna do is actually take my paper cutter. If you don't have one of these, I highly, highly recommend it. It's really easy to cut. It's just a Fiskars paper cutter. It works really well um, for cutting paper, obviously, but I also use it to cut my decals to make them nice and straight. So I'm just gonna take my decal. Actually, what I like to do is flip it upside down, but you guys won't see it. So I like to work with the sticky side up so that it's not sticking onto my cutter. But just for video purposes, I will show you. I just gotta be a little bit careful because it's I don't want it to stick. So. There's lines on here like a ruler, so you can see where your lines are gonna be. And then you just wanna take this and slide it. And then it's just gonna give you a really nice straight cut, just like that. And I'm trying to get really close to the edge here that it's gonna fit in my bag. So I'm gonna do that in each side. Just line it up with the lines at the bottom, making sure that you're not going over your decal. There is a little line in here that I can see where I'm going to be cutting, so I know I'm not gonna go over my decal. So I'm gonna grab, this is why I said it's easier doing it upside down. Grab the extra there, and then just keep going. It just gives it a little bit nicer look to it, a nice presentation when you're gonna sell these. And it also fits in your bag a lot easier, and I'll show you the bag in a second. So I gotta do one more side. So just like that. So the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is take my squeegee and then rub my transfer tape on here really hard on each side, twisting it so I get all the bubbles and all the extra lines out and everything. Then I like to do a test. I like to pull this back and make sure that my decal goes on my transfer tape just like that. Then you wanna take it and scrape it again. And then I have bags that I bought from Amazon which really come in handy. They're really nice bags. I think I might have to order the bigger size so I'll show you what it comes like. So I get 200 of these bags. This one is a five by seven, and I think this one is like a, 
eight by five or something. I'm not really sure. So hopefully, nope. Unfortunately, this one won't fit in it, so I can show you the next one. So those are the bags that I use. So I'm gonna skip ahead and finish this one really quick. So this one should fit in there just perfectly, but I'm gonna do the same thing that I just did, but not bore you and show you. So I'm gonna hurry up and speed this up, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done and how to package it. All right, sorry about that, guys. So I have this one all done. I'm gonna need to buy bigger bags. I didn't realize I'm starting to go a little bit bigger with my decals. Normally I do like a five by five, but I'm going a little bit larger with these. So I'm gonna show you really quick how to package these. So these are the bags. I absolutely love these. They're nice and heavy duty. You just take it, I flip my decal upside down so that when they look at it, they will see it from the front. So here's the front, here's the back because you have this little um, plastic thing that you fold over. Then I like to put in instructions. So I found this instructions off of Google. I printed a whole bunch off and then I used my paper cutter again to slice them up into nice straight uh, pieces. Then I just take that and I put it in the back. You can put in you know, your business cards, you can put in whatever you want in here. This is how I package mine. Then you just take the little strip off the top and then you carefully lay it down. So it's just like that. Whoops, upside down, just like that. So I have this one, but unfortunately, like I said, I have to buy a bigger bag, which is really cool because I'm starting to go a little bit bigger and making more manly ones, I guess. So I've been making a lot of different ones, more mom ones, so I thought I, thought I would make a couple of these. So I hope this video tutorial helped you out. If you're interested in any more, I did a whole bunch of video tutorials on uh, car decals, but think, car, these don't have to be just car decals. You can put them on anything. You can stick them on your windows in your house. You can put them on your PC, on your laptop, on your phone, you know, whatever. This doesn't have to be just car decals but that is my number one seller and I love to show you guys how to make money so if you're interested in learning how to start a business or um, learning how I started or how I got into the stores I do have an ebook for sale you can find it under icreatecrafts.com and you can find it there I've had a lot of positive reviews on it already and I'm really happy and it just helps me out with my channel to keep going with these videos so if you do like these videos give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button share my videos would you mind guys would you share my videos I do really hard on these and I love getting comments so please leave some comments down below very interested in hearing from you guys what you think so let me know how you like these do you like these did I do a good job give me a thumbs up guys happy crafting bye